One of the rarest emotes in Fortnite was just removed recently, and this isn't the first time Epic messed up and had to remove something. So this one isn't the rare emote I was talking about, but back then when Neymar got released, he had a built-in emote that transformed him between his two edit styles. And players found out that if you move in a certain way and have a certain back bling on while you're doing the transformation, you actually go completely invisible. Epic eventually noticed this and they had to disable the emote in competitive modes until they found a fix. But just recently, Epic was forced to disable one of the new chapter four mechanics, hurdling. Basically, it allowed you to jump over like short walls and fences if you ran into them. And it was an interesting way to move around and it made the gameplay a little bit more smooth, but it had a lot of issues and a lot of huge bugs that was getting players eliminated. People were teleporting all over the place after hurdling, sometimes teleporting hundreds of feet into the sky and falling to their death. This hurdling bug even ended Ranger's world record win streak. And it seemed like Epic didn't want to remove it at first because it took them a while, but eventually things were just getting out of hand and they just recently removed it and they'll bring it back once they fix it. So this next one is very interesting because I bet none of you remember this. All the way back in chapter one, season six, Epic actually made an update to the storm and they gave us the weak storm patch. As you guys know, late game storm does 10 damage per second and Epic decided for some reason to drop it down from 10 to eight damage per second. I'm not sure what the reason was. Maybe they wanted more people to fight in the end game, but this had some severe consequences. Players figured out you can just start popping medkits in the storm and pretty much out heal the storm forever, as long as you had enough medkits. The amount of heal offs that happened in competitive were so ridiculous that Epic had to remove this storm change. Speaking of heal offs, we have to thank Epic for introducing storm sickness because right now this chapter would be in shambles without it. As you guys know, there is a jellyfish angler perk that gives you guaranteed jellyfish. And it was really broken at the beginning of this chapter because it actually gave you two jellyfish every time you fished. Epic saw how broken this was and they reduced it from two to one, but it's still a very strong perk. And we've gotten hundreds of jellyfish in a video before, but it's actually impossible to heal off using the jellyfish because storm sickness eventually one shots you. Okay, so some people had a lot of heal offs, but this one was a little bit more controversial. Epic just recently dropped the Mr. Beast icon skin and it has a ton of cosmetics and it even comes with two different skins and edit styles. I do wonder how Ninja's feeling with just the one style and a pickaxe. I feel like, I feel like it kind of deserves some more styles. But there was one big problem. In one of the bundles, Epic made the glider way too expensive and players who bought that bundle actually ended up paying 400 more V-Bucks than they should have. Thankfully, Epic noticed this mistake and they gave everybody who bought that bundle 400 V-Bucks in return. But believe it or not, this is not even the first time Epic gave out V-Bucks this chapter. Just recently with the Reboot Rally Quest, players could reboot friends and bring them back to play and you get a bunch of rewards. There's a glider, a wrap, an emoticon, but the emote, it was pretty familiar. It was the Wolverine Claws. So this was actually an emote that was given out through the Marvel comics that you could redeem with the code. But obviously some people who already had that emote were a little bit upset because they were missing out on that extra reward. So Epic decided to give all of them who already had that emote 500 V-Bucks once they completed the reboot rally quest. So some of these skins might be coming back, but these are definitely never coming back to the item shop. Earlier this week, Epic made an announcement that they're canceling one of their games and refunding anybody who bought anything on it. And that game is Battle Breakers. You might remember it because they dropped Razor and Kurohumura skins a couple years ago in the item shop, but I guess things didn't go well with that game, so it's all scrapped now, and those skins are probably never returning to the shop, and they might even become rare. So one thing that has been teased time and time again over the past couple of years was car mods. You know, we got the cow catchers and we got the wheels, but there was a lot of mods that were in the game files that we never had. And we thought Epic just removed them all. Right now in chapter four, if you go to Lonely Labs, there's a picture on the wall that actually has a interesting looking car. It actually shows a front bumper attachment. And either this is a tease again at car mods, or this is a new vehicle that's gonna be coming in and replacing whiplashes. Shout out to Top 5 Gaming for pointing this out. And this isn't something Epic removed yet, but they 100% will very soon. There's a way to glide down without using your glider, allowing you to be the first person at any POI. The way you do it is you need to get some materials on Spawn Island. You need to go over to where the snow is and make a snowball. Hop in the snowball just as the battle bus is about to start. And you can actually glide all the way down to the ground without ever pulling your glider, allowing you to be the first person at any POI. And at first I was like, this isn't really a big deal, but once pro players start using this to get to a POI before the other pro teams, Epic's going to be forced to remove this. So they'll probably remove it before that happens. 
And another glitch that Epic is going to remove is the first person glitch in chapter four. So the way this one works is if you hop in a car with a red eye assault rifle and you switch seats and aim down sight a few times, you eventually turn completely invisible. Now, this happened to Ninja recently and myself, but luckily the enemies can still see you. However, this does give you a little advantage because your character is not blocking any of your screen. And honestly, I feel like I aim a lot better when this glitch happens to me. Epic is probably already fixing this and it's gonna be removed most likely in the next update. So one feature for chapter four that a lot of pro players are asking Epic to remove is the shockwave hammer. And it's my favorite weapon, so I really don't want him to remove it, but I can kind of understand why competitive players don't like it. People ended up finding out there's a way to infinitely fly if you use two hammers, you have a friend hitting the front and back of a car over and over, but that's not the real glitch. There's a problem with fall damage right now. If you slide and then you use the hammer, you actually take fall damage and can fall to your death even though you're not supposed to. Epic needs to fix this soon because honestly, people have been complaining about the amount of chapter four bugs that we've had. And I know they're on their winter break. So hopefully we get some bug fixes in early January. Pro players even found out a way to break the shockwave hammer. There was a trick where if you slam the hammer and then immediately started building in a certain way, you could actually replace people's builds instantly and then just like box them in. And Epic fixed this by having some sort of delay after you use the hammer before you can start building again. But pro players actually figured out a way to still do this by dropping the hammer from their inventory after slamming and then building. So this still works. It's kind of hard to pull off, but Epic's probably eventually gonna figure out a way to stop this because if there's a way to exploit pro players will use it until epic intervenes and actually one of the most recent things fortnite has removed from the game is the deku smash i mean it was only in the game for a few days and they just posted this saying we have disabled the deku smash ability due to an issue now the thing is what was the issue because i don't remember it having any bugs some people were complaining that it was too slow some people complained it was too strong but that's a balance issue was it actually breaking the game was it causing server lag i guess we'll never know or unless they tell us so a feature that fortnite actually added recently is using ai to generate sound in chapter four since we're on unreal engine 5.1 there's actually features in unreal engine that allows you to use ai meta sound generating and you can actually hear this when you jump out of the battle bus and sometimes when you're sliding across ice but actually generate different sounds so it doesn't sound the exact same every single time these are some of the things that we're expecting to see with creative 2.0 but we're most likely not getting creative 2.0 in january worry like we expected and this is the second delay for creative 2.0 so some people are getting worried i think it's better that they ship something out that's actually working instead of trying to rush it and last but not least this is probably one of the strangest things epic has done so just recently they introduced two super rare emotes into the fortnite item shop but then they instantly got removed 10 minutes later this happened back to back days they introduced the tidy emote which is like the snoop dog emote and for some reason they had some interesting choice of cosmetics to pair the tidy emote emote with I don't know what's going on but this was removed after 10 minutes and this was a very rare emote and then the next day they dropped the rambunctious emote which is also rare and then removed it after like 10 minutes so both of those emotes which have not been in the shop for years came into the shop for 10 minutes and then got removed I don't know what's going on guys but thank you so much for watching